Hi everyone, welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies. Today is Saturday and um, Ebony's having her nails done and Chloe's just had hers done as well. And for my Mother's Day treat, Ebony is taking me out for a meal. So if you want to, you can pop along with us. So um, we'll just show you the nails now. Shannon's here doing the nails. So. All right, so she's just having them done now. She's got the acrylics on. Just filing them down. I wanted to say sanding, but you're not sanding, am I? <laughs> And these, these are all the colours. Which ones are you having, Ebs? This here. You have this like lilac colour and then this glittery one as well. But there's so many to choose from. And if you do live in the Ketchum area and you um, need a new nail technician, then I will put Shannon's details in the description down below. She is very good. And she's done Chloe's as well. These are just Chloe's normal nails. Yep, but okay. um, they've got a gel on. Hang on, get like, um, yeah, put the flush on it because they're really sparkly. Oh, yeah. Oh, they are, aren't they? Crikey. They look cool. So, mm -hmm. Shannon's the only person that we let do our nails. Yeah. But let's have a look at your nails, Shannon, because she's done these herself. But look at how I cool really they look. I really don't they've done them yourself. They're amazing, aren't they? <laughs> They're really nice colours. So, and that's all a kit. So, she's going to do it because it's your birthday on it. Um, what day? Next week. Next exactly. week. Next Saturday. Right, the nails are going well. <laughs> that's a nice colour, that is. Is, yeah, some sparklies. Right, and Chloe's in the kitchen now. She's about to make Alfie's Easter bonnet. She's got all her kit there, ready to go. I think, um, where did you say you got most of it from? Poundland? Poundland, yeah. Some of it's from Asda. These are from Asda. I think these are well cute. Little carrots. They are Never nice. Never seen carrots before. Yeah, yeah I have this year. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, his bonnet's a little bit big, but it'll be fine, won't it? And stick on then. Yeah, put loads on. You probably won't keep it on anyway if it was fitting anyway, would it? No, so Chloe's gonna make that up now, so we'll see how she goes. Right, there we go, they're finished. Let's have a look, pull them around in the light a little bit more. <laughs> there we go, so they're all finished. They look really, really lovely. You've done such a good job, Shannon. Well done. Yeah. You pleased, Ebs? Yeah. Okay, right. <laughs> So what I'm doing is, um, obviously I'm making Alfie's Easter bonnet hat. Um, I started off by putting the yellow feathers on the bottom down here. And then I've alternated either green and blue um, at like an angle so it kind of like spirals around. What I'm now doing at the minute is I've just put my lovely coffee pot underneath to hold the hat up. So I've stuck a few on the top and then I'm going to kind of bend them round now to come round the sides and then obviously cover the sides round. And then I've, I've got a few more blues and... and um, greens to pop on on there once I've got them on I'm then gonna you know figure out where to put these little little cute bunnies um got these little chicks as well to pop on um a few pom-poms and then birds and I've got some carrots somewhere but I'm not really sure where I've put that yeah some little glitter carrots for the bunnies okay this has also happened Courtney has fallen off a curb and hurt or torn or stretched her ligaments she's had an x-ray so um she's having a rest now and she's got some crutches but so, uh, so, <laughs> others are having more fun with them at the minute <laughs> and chloe's made out of his hat so we'll have a look at that yeah are you right phoebes We've got to put those clips in from uh, marie haven't we We've got to get around to to showing marie with the you wearing them here we go, this is Alfie's hat. Do you like it, Alf? We'll show you Alfie wearing it later, but it is a bit big, but it's still pretty cool. But it's a bit true. I've got a bobble on, bear in mind. I've got that should be any other fit. There you go, lovely. We're ready, we've escaped the bedlam. Yeah, escaped. Oh, someone's had the nails done. Did a little, little, little. Right, so we're just on our way now. We're going to Harbour. Yeah. She's paying. So many bags is paying. It does. And look. That's just a pop socket. Oh, this is all we're going to hear now, isn't it? So, hey guys, you're oh. welcome back to my channel. So, let's um, go over to Market Harbour. It is a bit cold. We're just going to find a seat to sit in now. So, we'll wander around. Oh, should we go there? Should we go up this corner? What about up by that window in the corner? Yeah. 
people here. This looks very nice. Yeah, so we could sit here, sit next to the books. I've got the menu there, look. And there's the drinks menu. Look very snazzy, don't they? What do you think? This is what deals I do with the Friday. Oh, have I got a different menu to you? Or have I just not opened it on the first page? Oh, you could turn it with your beautiful nails. Yes. Good. Let's have a look through and see what we quite fancy, eh? They do rotisserie, don't they, in here? Rotisserie chicken. Pub classics. Burgers. Look at that burger. That looks a bit delicious, doesn't it? Chicken place, puddings, drinks, and that's the end. Right, let's have a little look. Yeah, can I have the sticky ba uh, barbecue ribs, please? Um, can you do for me, you know, the avocado and cherry tomato salad? Can you put any chicken in that? Thank you. Um, there we go. So, that's someone who's going to make that now. Well, not the man that took the order, quite obviously. There we go. Delicious. <laughs> Cheers. Right, here's mine. I've had the ribs. Ebony's got some sweet potato fries and this delicious salad with chicken and avocado. So we're going to tuck into this now. You are so kind to me. Right, we're going to nip over to B&M now just because we can. Yeah, let's all go and have a little wander around. Right, so we're inside B&M now. I'm just going to pick these up for Courtney. And the, what are these? Cookie. Uh, 10 cookies, like in little bags. In little bags. Oh, they're cute, and aren't they? they? For a pound. Do you think we should get yeah. Phoebes then? Yeah. Should we get that one? Yeah. Lovely jubbly. I haven't seen these before. Look, Rainbow Drops. They're um, a unicorn shortbread biscuit kit. They're 129 my right, Ebony's sleeping at a friend's house tonight, so we found this popcorn. It's 29 pence each or four for a pound. It says 50p on the top, but literally it works out just 25 pence each if you Sorry. do the offer rather than 29 pence too each. Too salted, too sweet, and then we can like you can mix and match, yeah. can't you? Yeah. Good price. Look, they've got that's some. Cool. That's just salty though. Is that individual packets in there? I think that's 149. But those buckets are good to keep if you want to make your own popcorn yeah. afterwards as well. Now these are nice, these are 4 99 in B&M. You put these in your washing when you uh, put it in the machine and I really like them, they're the unstoppables and they give a real nice scent. That one there, look, active in wash booster. So that's probably good for sports kits and stuff like that as well. Well now I've got one of these um, Airwick things, I'm sure it's Airwick. Yeah. And I don't know if you can use, look the air scents in here, it's 4 99 and they do the refills for just a pound in here, but I'm not sure if they also fit in there. They look kind of the same size, so let me know if um, if you've tried them, but I might just get that one to give it a go for 4 99 uh, for a pound, and then if it doesn't fit, I just can just pick one of these up, look, for, for 3 99 and give that, one a, give that one a whirl. Right, there seems to be sort of like different colour schemes. They've got yellows like mustard yellows in and grey and this really nice blush kind of pink colour oh let's look at the nails again look yeah they've got some pom pom throws there look for 5 99 they're soft different throws that's 14 99 all sorts of different bedding and they've got the creams here so they've colour coordinated everything which I think that's a bit easy to see. So if you're going for like creams, you can just like look in that section and see. Let's see, is that me or does that look like a skull? I think somebody must have done a skull. It does, doesn't it? And they've got greys that side, greys and silvers. And different bed sheets. And duvet sets. Well, you wouldn't rest on it. That's to be well prickly, wouldn't it? That is for sure. That's quite soft. That looks really weird when you're doing that. 
It looks. It reminds me of the sea. You could imagine yourself on a nice sandy beach, and then the, the sea is just. Me... It's not too prickly. They're two fifty. Stab yourself in the head. Were they? What were they about? Seven ninety nine before, and then they're down to two fifty. I think so. Yeah. This is the sale section. We'll have a little wander around here. These these surely are not in the sale. I think this is just merging onto the um, the normal section. This is all our chance to buy. Oh, they're quite good, aren't they? Got a few bits on the sale. I've never seen the um, bedding sale in this B and M before. We've got reversible duvets. Oh, there's like a check one there, look, if you like that sort of pattern. I've got the panels here. That's a velvet top. That's good for six. Is it six pounds just for that? That's really good. You've got a fully lined single curtain panel. That feels really good quality. There's some different ones here. That's eight pounds. Okay, this bit here, we've got all sorts of um, curtain panels as well. Checked panels seem to be coming around quite a lot. Look, we've got loads of checks there. I'm not really one for check patterns, but um, tartan kind of pattern, should I say, or plaid if you're in America. Got some voile. Quite a lot to choose from in this store. Got quite a few of the crushed velvet fields down there. And this one here, look, we've got a Moroccan. That's um, $19.99. Oh, that'd match in Ebony's bedroom, look, with that pattern. Oh, look at this one. This looks pretty cool, look. Tropical. The tropical section. Oh, look, Ebs, these have got these are little trinket dishes. And uh, they've updated. And they've got your initials on, so you can... Look, there's F for Ebony. $149. These are nice for two pound as well. Yeah, that's nice. That's five ninety nine. It's different. Finding paradise wherever I go and good vibes only. And that one there says, "Shake your palm palms." Look, these are cool. They're getting a bit jazzy in B and M, aren't they? What are these down here? Oh, this is the blush section. So they've got all the pink. Well, the blush collection. Look at this. That's a feather dish. Two ninety nine. Very nice indeed. Like this section here, they've got all sort of nautical bits and bobs. There's a ceramic anchor there. Look for three ninety nine. That's a good price, isn't it? I would love this. Oh, she would. A shell, a seashell. One ninety nine. I'm scared. I'm going to drop that. Have you got it? Seashell. Oh, seashell nails. A seashell. Look at this wooden lantern. There's a shell heart. That's two ninety nine. That sounds nice. Listen to that. We've got sea breeze reed diffuser, and there's a doorstop, a rope doorstop. How much is this? That's decorative boats two ninety nine. There's a planter down there. Let's have a look at this. That's four ninety nine. It's a funny looking thing, look. There's a lantern at the bottom. All sorts of uh, flowers and there's cactus pots. Oh, what's this one here, look. That is, you could. How much is that? Eight ninety nine. so you get three succulents in a tray. But yeah, you could paint that tray. Put a napkin on it. Oh, imagine if that were real. You'd be well prickled your fingers there. Oh no. Easter. They got all sorts in. They oh that is yeah, Eastery. A tulip pot. What are you laughing at? Oh, like Five nine two. Oh get them nails in. Look, your nails match these, look. Look at them. Look at them pots. Right, let's have a look at this little section. There's candle plates down there. These are sweet. Look, flamingo trinket dishes. One forty nine. Oh a little cat look. Meow. Got some sheep door stops there, four ninety nine. It's a gardening section. You have a wheelbarrow planter there for nine ninety nine. What else have we got down here? Well, they do those decorative planters. Look, that they've got in Poundland. 
they are, aren't they? Two ninety nine for three. Got lots of bits for the garden here. What have we got down this bit? Some garden statues. Little fairy there. Don't know. Other way. Elephant. Some plastic tumblers there. Look, printed two ninety nine for four. All sorts of designs. There's a little banana one and a orange as well. Oh, Ebony, what have you spotted? Booking Bronco. Do, do, do. Look at all these suitcases. I wonder how many destinations these are all going to go on. Look, worldwide. Everybody found this game. Apparently, they were talking about it yesterday. Yeah, and, it. And, they've, and they've got to buy it. Apparently, Dodge the Do, four ninety nine. What an absolutely delightful game! I'm really going to look forward to playing that. Oh, these are massive! Look, adhesive acrylic rhinestones, one ninety nine. They are, aren't they? They're huge, aren't they? What else they got? Feathers. Well, that's not feathers slash pom-poms. That is assorted tissue paper. In the wrong place, look. Look, pimple popper's down to £5 now. Nobody wants to buy it, no. Hmm. Very um, intriguing. Got some corner shelves here for £3.99. There's... Um, Three different colours, I think. There's that one, that one there, and then the white one. And there we go, that's us finished in B&M. We're just going to pop to the till now and pay for the few bits we picked up. That's it, we're home now. I'm going to make myself a nice cup of tea, and um, I think I'm just going to have a chill because I feel a bit shattered and worn out. Couldn't um, manage any tea myself because I'm still full up from um, the lovely meal we had. But thank you so much for coming with us today. Hope you're all okay, and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.